Okay, you know what? We got to hear that recording before they bring Fat Boy out here. We Look, what's Huckabee going to say that we haven't heard before? Can we get Trump, please? Okay, give him an award, the gold belt, or whatever the fuck you guys are handing out. A ring. I don't fucking know what you're giving this fuck. I don't like Mike Huckabee. You know? Bird! Bird sent $30. What? Damn, these niggas are making a run at the fucking Super Show Fund now. I don't even have it changed. It's coming in so fast, I can't even change it. Holy shit. Thank you guys for that. I was working hard to check. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but uh, <laughs> I was working hard to try to get it. I was like pushing all day. I was like, man, something happened, please. Something please happen. Then I found this. I'm like, oh, is Trump about to talk? All right, let's turn this on. Please get out here, Trump. Do something. The coup failed. All this shit happened. Like, Not that I was rooting for it. I wasn't. You know, I support Vlad, but still, I like big news happenings too. So I'm like, okay, what? Thank you. That'll work. 2.5. That'll work. He says, I owe you on payday salute. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Let me play this now, though, because that was the goal. Uh, now, again, I you know, I think that um, Hoffman seemed to like he was trying to help Ultros or whatever Ultros were trying to do. And then Ultros spurred out on him and threw him under the bus like he does everybody. He did that to RPG. He did that to Jaden. RPG put out text today. Where Ultros was saying Jaden betrayed him and left up his docs in the comments. And he might have to break ties with Jaden. And he was stalking his Discord all night like a fucking weirdo freak. Honestly, I kind of, I mean, I don't know. I don't feel bad for Judas. But still, it was like, I don't know. Did he even know? I guess when he shouldn't have sucked that dick. But um, <laughs> it was kind of like, I don't even know. Did this guy know what he was getting into here? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if he exactly knew. <laughs> Maybe he did, though. I don't know. Anyway, here's the recording. Uh, hey, Victor. I, I hope that you have a good weekend. Um, I just wanted to, you know, clarify a couple of things. Um, look, I, I'm not one of these Internet people. Um, my time is, is limited, and it's valuable to me. Um, you reached out to me, I think, through VHS Archive, if I remember. Um you told me that you were experiencing problems and you wanted my assistance. It, it wasn't your sister, it was you. Um, it turns out that I have years of experience dealing with a variety of these situations, um, personally. Some were more severe, some were less severe than what you are experiencing, and that I've learned a great deal I handled some of them correctly and efficiently. I handled some of them very poorly and wasted a lot of time. And Who's this talking? This is Gabe Hoffman. Who, like I said, you know, I don't think anybody, <laughs> I don't think he has many fans here. But the thing about it is, it's like, well, he was trying to help Ultros. He sent him a voicemail. I mean, it seems kind of measured. I listened to it once already. But I'm like, Ultros leaked this. What a snake. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's my first read on it. And it's not defending Hoffman. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know. You solicited advice from this guy that you called the dirty K word earlier and said he hoped he died. Like, I don't know. I'm not taking his side at all. And, you know, we've had our words, et cetera. But it's like me and Hoffman, I mean. But, I mean, I just have to call it like I see it. And then you see... Victor Sharp, a.k.a. Ultros, throw everybody under the bus that he ever knew. I mean, that's not a good look. It seems to be any adversity, and he goes and, like, starts talking to whoever will listen to him and starts running down the other person. And we all know people like this. I talked about Andy Worski, other people. Like, it's a trait among some people to do that. They're not... Good people. They're not honest people. They're not even, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying that anybody else is either necessarily in this scenario, but like what I'm saying is at least loyal to their team, at least, you know, loyal to something. I don't know. Ultras just seems like a basket case. He seems like a complete basket case. That's kind of what I'm saying. Who'll just 
go any which direction depending on. It's a gay trait. Body bag said, yeah, I think so. He's so emotionally so histrionic. He's like having meltdowns and like, please, oh my God, oh, I talked to this person and he's clearly got too much time on his hands too. Like he's calling up all these lawyers and fucking police departments and trying to look, bring up RICO cases and just absolute crazy type shit, right? Um, it's uh, unstable, like I said earlier. And that I've learned a great deal. I handled some of them correctly and efficiently. I handled some of them very poorly and wasted a lot of time and a lot of money and spent a lot of money with lawyers who were very happy to, you know, sue people that had no money and do other things and just, you know. And out of empathy for just a fellow human being who is experiencing things, I said, hey, you know what, Victor? I, I, I actually know what to do here, and I'm willing to take time to share that with you, share that with whomever, share that with attorneys, review draft letters. But I can just tell you that, look, I, I wish you and your family the best of luck. You can go to the police. You can waste time. They ain't going to give a shit. True. You can try to sue somebody. It ain't. The first thing they're going to ask you is, did you ask the person to stop? The way you ask them to stop is a very detailed demand letter. Um, a demand letter that says what they did wrong and uh, gives the specific examples. So comes- what Victor Sharp the third, Victor L. Sharp the third, is asking here is he's asking for advice on how to silence critics, basically, and how to silence... Or what he claims is, is are lies being told about him. Uh, now, that this is a delineation because I don't feel like we've told any lies about Victor L. Sharp. And I think his own actions and his own, dis, you know, dissembling has kind of shown that we haven't told any lies about him. And the shit that Nick showed today, I hadn't even seen a lot of that shit. By the way, I got to close some windows. My fucking, I can see my camera, like, acting like it's going to freeze. Okay, I'm going to start using my laptop with 64 gigs of RAM, maybe. I have 32 here, but... So he's trying to silence people, basically, and Hoffman's giving him advice. That's not taking a position on whatever, you know, whatever he's saying, whoever he shut down. He doesn't really talk about the examples of, you know, or anything like that. But um, Victor asked for advice on how to silence people. I, be- I believe it's the full context there. Left letters... But I can just tell you that, look, I I wish you and your family the best of luck. You can go to the police. You can waste time. They ain't going to give a shit. He's right about that, by the way. (laughs) They ain't going to give a shit. They ain't going to give a shit. Now, if you want to go a different direction, sue people and all that, yeah, maybe. But, like, the police don't really give a shit about what happens on the internet. I mean... I hate to tell you that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the police don't really give a fuck unless it's like multi million dollar scam or something, you know, something they can get a name off of or something like that. Uh, but, you know, there were a lot of big shots who thought they were going to put me in jail over some little petty shit. And, uh, you know, they thought there was going to be these local news stories and they thought there was going to be, you know, these, these ticky, ticky torch like mob to take me to jail. Nobody gave a fuck because they don't care. They don't care about what happens on the internet because it's basically like somewhere else. And so that's how people treat it, and um, that's not really probably going to change. The people see it as, like, disconnected. And most people don't even know what the fuck's going on here anyway. Like, not to the detail that these people do, right? And so they don't understand that most people don't care what happens online because they already see it as, like, a complete cesspool like, crazy place, and they're on there, too, but, like, they see all this crazy shit, and they're like, oh, it's online, like, whatever. Um, I don't know. It's just a, I, that's a, that's my theory, really. I, I think that that's kind of why the police don't care. Most people don't care, right? Like, anyway, I'm giving a little commentary here. I'll just play it. You can try to sue somebody. It ain't, the first thing they're going to ask you is, did you ask the person to stop? The way you ask them to stop is a very detailed demand letter. Um, A demand letter that says what they did wrong and uh, gives the specific examples and comes from an attorney. 
and a demand letter which also. By the way, sir, total America death. I don't even know what that is. Don't click that link. I'm going to time you out for 10 minutes. If you put any other weird links in my chat, I'm going to ban you forever. That's probably some kind of bullshit link. I, it, it, don't ever do that. I should just ban you straight off, which I started started to do. Don't post shit like that. I don't. It's probably it might be a joke too, but I don't like like hidden links that are like trying to get people to click. Yeah, I gave him ten minutes. There's I see beef in the chat. What's up, beef? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Please put Trump on. I'm stretching this ultra segment out as long as I can, but so we don't have to listen to this fuck. But we might have to because there's only a minute left. And it's like, okay, well. <laughs> I do have the torta. I could go warm that up. Good idea. Liquid sucralose. Suc um, a demand letter that says what they did wrong. And oh, he was posting that yesterday? Just ban him. He was posting the same in Nick's chat, just an IP grabber or something. Yeah, I think it is too. All right, well, I'll ban him when he comes back up. You're lucky I'm nice. Scam fuck. As soon as he pops his head up, ban him. I didn't know he was going around doing that. I've seen people do that and it'd be a joke. And you like click the link and it's them joking around or whatever. But like. Uh, gives the specific examples and comes from an attorney. And a demand letter which also says, this is what I want you to do. You need to delete such and such things. You need to delete all places where you said this. Because Victor Sharp and his family are not public figures and they've experienced harassment and, you know, a.k.a. ultras and so on and so forth. And, you know, you need to make a post on your social media and you need to, you know, uh, release a video saying, listen, I, I said certain things about this person and I just, whatever. I, I ha you know, so I, I hope that you consider the circumstances. I hope that you choose to rely on the time and experience that I've had that I'm willing to share to help. Um, you know, because I've been through 10 of these before <laughs> myself. Uh, so anyway, um, take care and have a great weekend. And uh, I look, you know, I, I ain't going to bug you no more. Um, you know, you asked me for help. So I guess if somebody wants it, uh, they'll get in touch with me. Take care. Bye. So there's the recording, Gabe Hoffman to Ultros. You can follow that away and add that to the tapestry here of PMC Feaser Operation Ultros. And you can get the shirt, killstream.live slash shop. Yes, I'll show the shirt again. Gabe was snaked. I kind of feel that way too. I mean, that might be a shocking conclusion for some, but yeah, I think he was. And that's, you know, you don't have to agree with the tactics he's espousing there either, but it's like, okay, well, he, he, this guy, this weirdo fuck, you know, seemingly gay homo freako who obsesses over teens and shit. Now, I, you know, I'm not saying Gabe knew that. I don't know that he did. But, like, he asked Gabe Hoffman for advice. He gives him advice. It sounded like he couldn't even get a hold of him, Harley. But he did give him the advice, and then Ultros, Victor Sharp the Third, Victor L. Sharp the Third, leaks that to RPG and calls Hoffman a dirty K word who he hopes die soon. Yeah, exactly. SO's right. In the DMs, Ultros kept calling Hoffman a Jew, psycho, and K word. Yeah, and said he hoped he died. I was like, damn. I mean, me and Hoffman's had actual words. Like, and I mean, I haven't even said anything like that. I mean, I've said that about certain people. <laughs> I have said that about certain people before. But, I mean, I don't want to act like I'm squeaky clean. But it's like, okay, what the fuck, man? I don't know. This is some guy you asked for advice. I, okay, you don't like him, but like, I don't know. That's kind of, that's kind of shady behavior. I don't know what to say. You don't have to be a Hoffman cheerleader. To be like, damn. And then he did, he did the same thing to Jaden. Because in the messages we looked at earlier, he was talking to uh, RPG and he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm about to cut. I'm about to delete everything. And Jaden's let me down. He's leaving my name up on the comments. And I don't think he cares. He deleted all these comments where he's mentioned or bad things about him's mentioned, but not mine. I sat up all night and saw he was on Discord. And he didn't go to sleep. 
It's like, dude. Um, okay. That's bad. Yeah, Nick, Nick did cover the first part of the leaks earlier, but he didn't he didn't get those parts. The the um he got a lot of important parts though. That's the shit I have I haven't even talked about as much because he covered it. But Ultros was calling like congressmen and congresswomen and staffers and Republican donors because his dad throws his money around at these corrupt politicians and trying to call in connections and had lawyers working to to silence Paul Town because he was talking shit about him in Beardson's chat. I'm not making any of this up, by the way. This sounds like hyperbole. This sounds like Ralph is going on a tangent here. No, this is all from these are all from the leaks today. And that's leaving some shit out even. Like it's that crazy. He's that fucking goofy. It's the tuning fork to which all of us must tune our instrument. Oh my and it God. is not that we need to tune to the culture so we can sit at the cool kids table. It's you ain't gonna be there. To tune the culture to the historic, everlasting yeah, that's true, too, and I'm glad you said that, Esso, because I don't think I pulled that one up. But Ultras called the police on Esso Shaggy, tried to subpoena his docs, yeah, for A-logging him. And then he was he had a scheme to, like, sue him and then make Twitter give his docs over. I mean, he was completely harebrained, but he had clearly thought a lot about it. Yeah, that was part of it, too. I'm glad you brought that up. There's a whole screen cap on it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.